discussing trauma and addiction, professor versus student perspectives. Alex, a young college student approaches Professor Bennett after a lecture on neuroscience. Alex, Professor Bennett, I have a different perspective on addiction. I don't think it's really about the brain at all. I think it's more about past trauma and emotional wounds. Professor Bennett, interesting perspective, Alex. While trauma certainly plays a significant role in addiction, it's crucial to understand that the brain is intricately involved in these processes. In fact, trauma often leads to changes in brain function that can predispose individuals to develop addiction. Alex, I still believe that trauma is the root cause. People turn to substances or other addictive behaviors to cope with their emotional pain and suffering. Professor Bennett, you're correct that trauma can be a significant contributing factor, but let's consider this. Trauma-related conditions, such as post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, often co-occur with other mental health conditions, particularly major depressive disorder and substance use disorder. These co-occurring conditions suggest a shared underlying mechanism involving brain function. But how does trauma affect the brain in a way that leads to addiction? Professor Bennett. Well, trauma can cause the dysregulation of key brain regions involved in emotion regulation and reward processing, such as the amygdala and the prefrontal cortex. This dysregulation can lead to greater emotional reactivity and impaired impulse control, making individuals more vulnerable to substance use as a means of self-medication. So, trauma affects brain regions responsible for managing emotions and decision-making. Professor Bennett, exactly. Trauma can also alter the brain's stress response system, leading to heightened sensitivity to stress and an increased risk of developing mood disorders like depression. Major depressive disorder, in turn, further disrupts brain circuits involved in reward processing, exacerbating the cycle of addiction. Alex, I see what you're saying. So, addiction isn't just about coping with trauma. It's also about how trauma changes the brain and predisposes individuals to addictive behaviors. Professor Bennett, precisely. By understanding the complex interplay between trauma, brain function, and addiction, we can develop more effective interventions and treatments that address the underlying mechanisms driving these interconnected conditions. We will be studying these issues in more depth throughout this course. Alex, thanks for raising this important issue.